Vulcan Green Steel is amongst the uh, first projects, mega projects on green steel in, in this region. Uh, the, the biggest USP for Vulcan Green Steel is that it is backed by uh, uh, India's largest steel family and among the largest steel families in the world uh, who, who have a vintage of over 50 years of steel making. That is the Jindal Steel Group. And uh, uh, backed by the experience of Jindal Group and uh, in the and the progressive and a very proactive governance and policy making, the government of Oman. This has enabled us to have a vision of green steel production in Oman because Oman is blessed with natural resources. It has the sixth largest solar intensity and amongst the top five uh, wind uh, velocities in the world comparable closely to Netherlands with ample land and uh, w uh, availability of uh, water which can be desalinated and used for electrolyzer. So we believe that Oman is going to be a hub of green hydrogen production. Green steel offers the best value for green hydrogen because the green hydrogen can be directly used in the process of reduction in the steel making value chain. Vulcan Green Steel is creating a lot of job for the Omanis, a lot of job for the around the world and it is the great venture they started. It my pleasure to always part of Jindal group. We are learning from Naveen Jindal a lot of things. We are doing the Naveen Jindal since long time. We are doing the business with them. We are doing the services over there in Jindal Sadid, civil work, erections, fabrications. Uh, the services of the manpowers and and uh, whatever the responsibility they are given to me, we are delivered to them. Initially, we will start with uh, the MENA region and Europe because we see increasingly customers are focused on uh, sustainability in these markets and uh, the customers have already announced uh, decarbonization targets by 2030 and 2035. They consider green steel to be a key pillar in their decarbonization strategy. Primarily, if I had to mention which segments of the customers, it would be the automobile sectors, the white goods, the wind tower manufacturers, amongst others.